Hey guys, welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials. Please leave a like on the video, I'd really appreciate it. Also, my channel grow now to be showing you guys how to build my reward system version 3.0. Now, I'm not gonna go too into depth with it. If you wanna see me go more into depth with it, I will have a video in the description below on my awesome build episode 18. I'm just gonna show you what the thing does and then we're gonna start building this thing right away. So pretty much what it does is if I throw any item in that's not emeralds, now of course in the video I'll show you, you could change emeralds, it doesn't have to be emeralds, it's just I'm doing, I'm using emeralds for the tutorial. So if I throw in any item that's not emeralds, we can't buy anything. So let's say if I throw iron in there, as you can see none of these lights will pop up, let me buy anything. If I throw a pink wool in there, none of these lights will light up, let me buy anything. But if I throw an emerald in there, the first light should light up, letting me buy an item. If I throw another emerald in there, the second light should light up, letting me buy an item. And then when I buy the item, it will reset itself, giving me the item. Now, let's say we don't want our money. Let's say we decide to put money in there, but then we decide in the long run that we want to save up to buy something in the future when uh, we can get a better item. I do have a money back system right here. If we click this button, this will open up, thus giving our money back, but then it will also reset the items, making it so we cannot buy them. So that's pretty much how it all works. Now, let's just start building this thing right away. All right, guys, so we're going to start building the payment system first, and then we're going to build the reward system afterwards, and then, you know, the money back system and all that good stuff. So for the payment system, what we're going to need is a five by nine spacing, and we're also going to have to dig down at least two. Now, keep it in mind, this is where our wall is going to be right here. So just come to the middle of your five by your five by nine, and we're going to count up two blocks. So one, two, and then on top of this block, we're going to put a piece of ice. Now, I... You can delete this block, you don't need it, but I would uh, recommend using a block of choice here because you will be able to see it. And then we're just gonna put a little circle around our block of ice. So go up like this and just put a little circle around it like so. Because this is where we're gonna be throwing our items in. So actually let's put a little floor right here as well. Just so you know, this is where you're gonna be standing to throw your items in. Now we're gonna come to the backhand side of it and we're gonna come out one more ice block. And then from our ice block, let's actually take out, uh, you know, let's keep blue wool. And then we're just going to count over three to both sides. So one, two, three. And then the same thing on this side. One, two, three. And then we're going to delete all of this. This is where our hooks are going to be going. So put a hook on this block and a hook on this block. Now, don't put the string yet to connect it together because if we, uh, we're going to be putting something else here and it's going to delete the string. So we don't need that in right now. So what we're actually going to do now is put a block of ice right underneath the hook. As you can see, it's one block from underneath the hook. Do it the same thing on this side and then connect those two ice blocks together, making a line. And then right in the middle, we're going to come down three ice blocks. So one, two, three. So we're just going to make like a T of ice. Next, what we're going to do is come out one more block on each side of the T of ice like that. And now all we want to do is literally just encase all this ice in with blocks so the water does not get out. So just come from where right here where this ice block is one block underneath and just bring blocks all the way around to right there like that and do the same thing on this side. So just bring it all the way around. And yes, that is a cow like that. And hold on one second. There we go. <laughs> uh, I would kill the cow, but whatever. <laughs> so next, we, what we're going to do actually is put our water in. So we don't need the hooks anymore. We need some water. And we're going to put a block right here in the middle of the ice. This is why I said do not put the string there yet, because the string will break if you put uh, the block right underneath it. And we're just going to take out our buckets of water and put one bucket of water underneath each block uh, with the hook on it. And then we're just going to delete this block and the water will create a nice stream going all the way down. Next, what we want to do is take out our our signs. So get a sign out. And then right here in the middle, we're going to put a sign. You'll know where the middle is because, you know, one, two, three blocks. And the middle block is the second one. And you can put it on either side. doesn't matter. You can put it there. You can put it right in the middle. It doesn't matter. And then we're going to put our dispensers right above the sign facing inwards towards the ice blocks. These will be holding our items, which we will be paying with. I'm going to be using emeralds. So if you don't want to use emeralds and you want to use dirt blocks or uh, iron or whatever you want, you put your items that you're going to be paying with inside the dispensers. So like I said, I'm using emeralds. You can use whatever you want. Now we can actually hook our hooks together. So we just go like that to hook our hooks up and to make sure it works, you'll hear the click noise. See, click, click, all that good stuff. <laughs> So from the right hand side where this hook is, we're going to come uh, put a piece of dust right next to the block with the hook on it. As you can see, if I hit the, hit the block, the dust comes on, Boop. dust comes on, beautiful. And then we're actually going to take out a half slab. Now what we want to do is put a half slab right above the dust 
over one towards the dispenser and then down one underneath like that. And that is just, well, you know, I'll get back to the point why I'm using a half slab here and just not a normal block. We're gonna put dust right down on top of this half slab. And then what we're gonna do is have to bring the uh, dust all the way over to this dispenser. So to do that, all we do is put a block of choice right here, a block of choice right above the water, and a block of choice right above the dispensers. This is just to encase the dispensers in. So when the items come out of the dispensers, they don't go all over the place. We want it to go right down to right here where this block is. Next, what we're gonna do is take our redstone dust and put it right on top of this dispenser. To do that, all we have to do is look at this top block right here and put our dust like that. And as you can see, it goes right on top of the dispenser. Put in another piece of dust here and another one down right on top of this dispenser. And then next, what we want to do actually is just encase these hooks in so the items don't fall out of this area as well. So put an item, I mean, put a block right next to the dispenser, right above the hook, right down from the hook and over and do the same thing on this side, down from the hook, over above the hook and down like that, just to encase it all in. And then we're just going to encase it in one more time. So we're going to go up two and then over like that. So now we, if we look in here, as you can see, we have our item so we can throw our item in and it should pop out the back side over here. Boop. <laughs> and see already emeralds already came out already so if i throw em an emerald in there it'll work but if i throw a normal item in there that is not an emerald it will not work so now we're going to make the backhand side for when the item is not an emerald this will make it so the uh, other items do not work besides emeralds so what you want to do is just take out a fence post and put a fence post right next to your ice block with a pressure plate on top the pressure plate does have to be a wooden one because stone ones do not work with items so we don't need those anymore. So now what we're gonna do is take out our half slabs again, and we're gonna come out one half slab from here with dust on it, and cow really, get out of here, go. Go be a cow somewhere else. <laughs> I know if I didn't kill him, it'll keep coming back. So pretty much once we have our half slab down right here, the only reason we put a half slab there, we can use glowstone here as well, but it's just much easier to use a half slab here. And if you use glowstone, it might melt the ice right here. So I just choose a half slab. And then we're just gonna encase around our half slab like that with like an L shape of any block of choice, doesn't really matter. And we're gonna put dust on top of this one, dust down here, and on this block coming out of this dust, we're gonna put a repeater on four ticks delay. Now in front of our four tick delay repeater, we're going to put a sticky piston facing upwards. And then we're gonna put a block right in front of this dust as well, like that. This just creates a pulse extender right here because we just need this to be up for a little bit longer than what it needs, uh, than what it goes up for the initial one tick. Next, we're going to do is put a piece of glass on top of our sticky piston with a piece of sand on top of it. That's the only time you'll be using sand. Sand, uh, Glass, you might use it later on. I don't know what you guys are going to do, but <laughs> well, when we get to that point, I'll show you what I mean. So now what we're going to do is come out blocks from where our, our glass block is. So come out towards back towards our creation over here. And we're going to put three repeaters right here. And the last one's going to be on three ticks delay. Next, we're going to put dust on the back of this block. And now we're just going to make a staircase down to here. So just make a easy staircase. So one, two, and then bring it all the way over to where this dust is right here. And then just bring our dust down one more block like that. And then on these three blocks coming out of the block with the dust on it going up towards this half slab, we're going to put three repeaters right here, all set to four ticks delay. So one, two, three, and then set them all to four ticks delay. Now, if we come back over here and put another block right next to this glass block with some dust down on top of it, now we're going to test to make sure everything is working right. So if I throw an emerald in there, it sh this, sh this, sh that. <laughs> this piston right here should not go up. It should not extend up when I throw an emerald in there. But if I throw anything else in there, it should. So if I throw an emerald in, this should not pop up. As you can see, it did not pop up. But now let's say if I throw a piece of redstone dust in there, it should pop up. Boop. There we go. And see how this dust did not come on? When it goes up, you do not want that dust coming on right there. So if I throw a repeater in there, make sure that dust does not come on. So see how the dust does not come on? If yours is coming on when you throw something in that is not an emerald, then you're just going to have to play around with these ticks. That's why I added these extra repeaters there. And that is how you build the payment system. So now we're going to start working on our reward system. All right, guys, so now we're gonna build the reward system. Now I'm gonna be building the reward system up to five items. I'm gonna, of course, show you how to extend it out. And if you're asking on how to make the payment bigger, I'll probably do an add-on video sometime in the near future. Of course, I'm not gonna do it in this video or else it'll make the video super long. So for the uh, 
for the reward system, what we're going to do is right next to where our uh, payment system is, we're just going to come over, we're going to come down one more block. So we need to dig down at least three for this part. And we're going to need a 10 by nine spacing. And this is for five items. Of course, like I said, I'm going to show you how to extend it out to make it up to as many items as you want. So pretty much what you want to do is just come two blocks over from where our payment system is right where the hole is. So one, two. So come two blocks over. So there's one, two right there in the middle. And we're going to put our first button in there. That's where our first item is going to be. And then we're just going to do the same thing again. One, two button. One, two, one, two. Let me just go all the way down the line. I mean, I, I think you guys understand what you need to do. <laughs> button, button, and button. So there's our five items and I'm just going to actually delete in between each block for now, just so you guys can get a, a better look at it like that. There we go. And I can see a pig over there. Why do animals want to hang around here so much? I don't know why. So let's just do this. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. Sorry, pig, but you got to go. <laughs> so we're going to come back here to the backhand side where our dust um, yeah, where our dust, where our sticky piston with the glass block and the sand block is on top of it. And I'm going to be using lime green wool here. So where we have the dust right here, we actually need that there. And we're just going to make a pretty much a staircase going all the way down to where we dug this area out. So pretty much make a staircase down. It's going to be four blocks down, as you can see. And we're going to put dust along all of that. And literally, we're just going to bring it all the way over to here. Skip a block and put another one right here. And we're going to bring dust all the way down. And on this block right here, we're going to put a repeater set it to one tick delay and we're going to put a sticky piston down one block with a block on top of it and then coming out of this one we're going to put a repeater on two ticks delay and this will create a mono stable circuit and man i love using these things <laughs> i'm so happy we could start using these things from now on next what we want to do is put a block up in front of our two tick delay repeater and we're just going to bring a line of blocks going all the way back down to over here and i'm pretty sure we have to go yep right there's perfect that's where we have to go and now what we're going to do is put a piece of dust coming out of this block then a repeater dust repeater dust repeater dust repeater dust now wherever there is a piece of dust that is an item you can buy so we have five items we can buy so there's one two three four five pieces of dust and each piece of dust lines up to where our block and our button is so i'm just giving a heads up there now if you want to extend you know what? let's just do the whole reward system and then i'll show you how to extend it out it's nothing really hard to do you can always add an extension onto it too you can make it smaller but then if you want to make it bigger later on down the road it's very easy to add more onto it so now wherever you see a piece of dust we are going to put a sticky piston right next to the block that has the dust on it now what i like to do is use redstone lamps here you do not have to use redstone lamps here like in my other reward system builds i like to use the redstone lamps just because i think they look nice there you can use whatever block you want you know besides obsidian and furnaces things that can't move but i'm just using redstone lamps because i like the way they light up <laughs> and actually let's get rid of these two blocks right there because those are we're gonna actually have to get rid of these blocks right here anyway so now in between each uh lamp or whatever block you're using we're just gonna put another block and then we're going to put repeaters going back towards our mono stable circuit all on one tick delay in between each block so of course you know where the sticky piston block is because i put lamps there but whatever you're using just make sure you don't lose track of that oh yeah also you can build this on survival now because if people do not know you can silk touch ice in title update 14 with your pickaxe if you have silk touch on it you are able to pick up ice now just to let you know in case you do want to build this on survival now all the way here back at the uh start of it we're going to put a half slab upside down like that with dust down on top of it and the reason for that is well we'll get back to this in uh later on <laughs> we want to get other stuff done right now so now what we're going to do is come out two blocks from each lamp or whatever block you're using it's the block with the sticky piston so come out two blocks where the sticky piston is and put dust on down on top of all these blocks except for this one this one we have to put a repeater first just because dust can't uh put power to a block and then activate dust again so you need a repeater there with dust going into it now we're gonna have to delete this block right here when you delete this block water will pop out but you do not have to worry because we do not have any redstone down here now what we're going to do is actually put a sticky piston right here so what you want to do is just go really quickly just put a piston up like that there we go <laughs> and that will stop the water but we need a sticky piston there on each one so do it on each one where the dust is put a sticky piston facing up i'm trying to get it right on the dust so i don't have to put two blocks come on uh, there we go yeah yeah there we go <laughs> and then we're gonna put blocks on top of those like that 
and now we're actually let's put in our redstone lamps for our flooring because those are going to get uh it's going to be pretty much everything's going to get in the way later on so let's just get this in there so what you want to do is just come one more block down from where under uh underneath the sticky pistons and we're going to bring our dust down like that and then we're actually going to come up one block again like that and put dust down on top of all these blocks as well and i'm pretty sure we have to come out at least one more am i right one more right here is the floor so no no we're good okay so right in front of each piece of dust we're going to no wait nope i'm right no nope, one more <laughs> we could actually go like this it doesn't really matter we could put now just put a block up in front of each piece of dust and then put a lamp here now this the lamps are just so it lights up to let you know what how uh, what items you can buy and then we can actually fill in our flooring right here if we want to that's all those lamps do it just lets you know what you can buy so there we go we got our lamps in. we can put this right here as well like that there we go now behind where each button is actually let's use a piece a uh, different wool here for now uh let's use orange that'd be fun so we're, right behind where each button is we're going to put a repeater coming out of it so if i click this button the repeater will activate so we're going to do that to every single one of these so just put your blocks down and put a repeater and each repeater should activate if you click the button see and we're gonna come one more block out from where our block is on top of our sticky pistons and we're gonna put repeaters coming out from over here with more repeaters going this way <laughs> this is just so like when you activate it this piston will pop up thus letting you buy the item next we're gonna put a block up in front of each each uh individual repeater and then what i like to do is i just make a line and then i delete in between them because those blocks are not needed and then we're gonna make a staircase going up so one two it should look like this it should look like three blocks going up like a staircase so do that to every single one of them and there we go and on the first two initial blocks where the repeater is going into this block we're going to put dust so one two on each one of them and then coming off this block we're going to put a dispenser and this is where you'll get your item so then we just come up a block again and right here in front of uh your dispensers i like to use glass this will keep people out from uh use from just you know jumping up and grabbing the item out of the dispenser but it will also make it so the item can come right through the glass that's why i like to do that and then literally what you're going to have to do now is just fill in between each wall and come over one more block like that that's just so the items go straight you don't want them to go off into the back and then for people not to get the items so just bring your wall up and then over one towards the dispensers so bring it up and over one towards the dispensers bring it up and over one towards the dispensers and one more time bring it up and over one towards the dispensers like that so now we actually have our whole item thing in this is everything this is how all of it works so if i throw an emerald in there this light should light up so let me get my emerald out there we go and you know let's just give it a little test making sure it doesn't work does it still not work yep see nothing lit up but if i throw an emerald in there ooh, what happened did it activate it let's try it again oh we never <laughs> okay never mind we never added in the uh reset switch duh so what we have to do is come over one more block from where our items are i'm just gonna bring a row down like this and we're gonna put dust on top of all these blocks now this dust will connect together we do not want this to happen so split up all this right here by just adding a block right above it as you can see it will cut the circuits off and then all the way at the end where we have this bead of dust on top of this half slab we have to put a redstone torch there we go now it should work now that this dust is on so now if i come back over here and i throw an item in that is not an emerald like i did before nothing should happen but if i throw an emerald in bloop, as you can see we can now buy this item if i throw another emerald in we can buy the second item Bloop. so now if i buy it it will reset itself Boop. there we go so now we got the whole reward system in so now we're going to do the money back system 
All right, guys, so if you don't want a money back system, then you're done. You've got your whole payment system and reward system in and everything should be working. But if you want that money back system, then well, I guess stick around. So for our money back system, what we're gonna do is literally come off where our payment system is over to the corner right here. And we're just gonna need a five by three spacing right here. You know, let me, uh, I would delete this block, but actually that's where the water is and it will come out. But we're just gonna need a five by three spacing coming off where the corner block is for our payment system. So what we're going to do is come up two blocks of our block of choice. And actually what we're going to need is a button. Let me get a button out real quick. This is the only time we're going to need it. So let me just put it on. We're going to need a button right there. So as you can see, here's where we throw our items into uh, pay. And here is our money back button right there. Now coming off to the left hand side of our money back button, we're going to put a torch there. So when I click the button, the torch will go off like that. And pretty much what we're going to do is just bring a line of blocks all the way down to the back with dust on top of all of them. The dust should come on. And then right here at the back, we're gonna put a repeater here on two ticks delay. And then right here, we're gonna put a repeater on four ticks delay. And then we're gonna put a half slab right here with dust down on top of it. And then we're gonna put two, let me get my sticky pistons out. We're gonna need sticky pistons for this as well. So uh, da, 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 I'll get rid of the glowstone for now. I'm gonna put two sticky pistons right here. So they should extend out one two and then we're going to put a block of choice in front of it so this will pull back and the money will come out so there we go if yours is not doing this <laughs> then you did something wrong and now next what we're going to have to do is come up a glass block right here so let me take out glass there we go and we're gonna put glass right on top of this piston where our half slab is and we're going to put another piston right here actually we're going to come back one more right here there we go <laughs> and we're gonna put any you can put any block on top of this one you won't be able to see it but i usually just use a block of choice anyway and then we're actually going to come up with our half slab right here so what i like to do is right here where our half slab with the dust is we're just going to come up one over one and then down one right here and it has to be a half slab if you use a block here it will uh mess up your double piston extender so you have to use a half slab here so just put your dust on top of the half slab and now we don't want these two connecting so to get rid of that connection we just put a block here now if we just delete this dust actually and put it back it will extend your piston out so just make sure you put a block there to keep those two from uh connecting together and also make sure to use a half slab here you have to use a half slab here next what we're going to do is put another piston facing towards over here so what we're actually going to do is just come out one more block over like that and we're going to put another piston right here oops we actually have to go back one more right here with a block in front of it like that so there should be a block up right next to this piston that is extended with another piston behind it and then right here one block up from this piston we're going to put our dispenser like that this is where our money will fall out now the reason why i do this is when you drop your item in to get your uh if you decide to get your money back it goes here but if you decide to buy something this piston will extend out pushing your money out you know let's just put the rest of it in and you'll see what <laughs> what happens so this is actually where everything's going to get a little bit uh congested like over here where it looks really weird and congested it's all because of the money back system so pretty much how we get our money into here so inside our dispenser we're going to have emeralds so if i let me get some emeralds out real quick because that is my block of choice this is my choice block if you're using something else like dirt like i said if you're putting another item inside your dispensers of course you're not going to put emeralds up here you're going to put your item that you have inside these dispensers i'm using emeralds because that's what i'm using for the tutorial so pretty much all we have to do now is bring a line from here all the way up to that dispenser so right where our uh, sand block is we're just going to come out one more i'm going to bring this all the way down i'd say right about here actually we could bring the line up from here so right where this for because we don't want to connecting to this dust right here and then just bring a nice little staircase up and then we're just literally going to bring this line all the way over to this dispenser so boop, 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 like that and then what we're going to do is bring our dust from here so right here off the sand block we're going to count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen repeater and i'm pretty sure i have to put another repeater so just put two repeaters heck you can go like this actually so like that Boop. so now if i throw an emerald in there an emerald should pop out of this uh dispenser so if i put a block there it won't uh, go anywhere it'll just fall right here 
So we take out an emerald and we throw an emerald in. Oh, it extended up. Oh yeah, I forgot the first initial emerald usually won't work. I don't know why, but here we go. And poof, there we go. That's our money back right here, but we can buy an item right here as well. So now we just have to make it so in case we buy an item here, we don't get our money back as well. So that's the whole reason for this sticky piston right here. So what we have to do now is bring our line from over here to over to this piston right there. So to do that, all we're going to do is just take out a different block right here of choice. And we're just going to come one more out from where our torch is and just bring this all the way down like this. And then we're going to bring it up towards that piston. So just bring it over towards that piston. So what I like to do is just make a staircase going up. I know it's a little sloppy in here, but I mean, it's the easiest way to get it over there. So there we go. We just brought it over and now all we have to do is connect it. So also keep it in mind, the more you extend this, you know, I'm just going to show you guys how to extend it at the end. Let's just get everything done and then I'll show you how to extend it at the end. I don't really want to get into it too much. So what you're going to do is come out with one more dust like that and put a repeater here. Bring your dust all the way over. Now, of course, you don't want these two connecting and we can't just put a block here, actually. So what you're going to have to do is put another repeater right there. Bring your dust all the way up and all the way over. And we don't want any of these connecting. So what we're going to do is just put a block right above them to keep them from not connecting. And are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Get out of here. Go play over there. Oh, you're dead now. See, now you can't play anymore. You're dead. <laughs> so there we go. That's just in case we decide to buy our item. It will push this item out, thus not giving our money back. So see if I buy this item. It gets pushed out. And then, of course, you can have like a little collection pool over here. And if you're doing this on survival and you want to get your item back, then you can have your little collection pool there. But of course, now what we're going to have to do is connect this part over here. So when you do your money back system, it resets this. So like, see what happens when I throw an emerald in here. As you can see, we'll get our money back. But oh, you know, there has to be a block. There's going to be a block there, so it won't end up there. But just in case, see, if I decide to get my money back, as you can see, it opens up. But we could still buy this. So what we have to do is add a reset switch from here to over here. So we're actually going to need a glow, piece of glowstone for this. So what we're going to do is put a block on top of this uh, torch that activates our money back system. So let's get actually get out a different block now. Uh, you know what? Let's just use red. I usually use red for my input blocks, but there's really no input here. So put a block right above your torch and then put another torch coming off this block. The torch will go off. And now what we're going to pretty much do is just bring this all the way over to right here. So to do that, what I like to do is just put a piece of dust going on top of our payment system. And we're just literally going to bring it over and we're actually going to have to go up here. So bring it up like that and bring it back down. Actually, I'm, I don't remember if I have to bring it down or not. Or, you know, let's just come over here. Okay, so what you want to do is put a piece of glowstone on top of this torch that goes into the half slab in the beginning. So put a glowstone on top of it with dust down on top of it. The good thing about glowstone is it won't make the uh, redstone torch burn out. So it has to be glowstone. This has to be glowstone. If you put a normal block there, it will make it burn out. So glowstone. <laughs> and then just come a block up from the dust and come over one and put a torch right here like that. And then coming off this block, let's just delete this dust so it doesn't mess anything up. We're going to put a torch right here. You can see the torch will go off and then put dust right here like that. Now, what we have to do is literally just connect this to this. So we just come over one more and now it's connected. So now if I do my money back system, this will get a uh, reset. So if I do my money back, it gets reset. So there you guys go. That's pretty much everything. So now all we have to do is just encase this. So none of the money falls out everywhere. So like that. And this part right here can be open. It has to be open one at least like this because that money has to fall down when you d decide to make a purchase and decide not to get the money back. So make sure you have a hole right here like this. There we go. So now if I throw an emerald in there like that, I can see our money goes there, but then I decide to get our money back. So I go like this. Our money falls down we get our money but then it also resets everything so actually it fell down there because i don't have a floor here but it's actually gonna go nighttime so i'm actually gonna just uh sleep this off and then i'm gonna show you guys how to extend it out in case you want this to be bigger all right guys so now we got our floor in and everything so i'm just gonna show you the money back system one more time so we're gonna throw the item in as you can see we'll be able to make a purchase but we decide we don't want the purchase we just click this button 
pops open and we get our money back and this also resets so now what you want to do actually is just clean this area up a little bit more you know just make it look good all that good stuff and also just make sure that the item always falls in to right here so you can add an extra block right here and one above it just to be extremely safe that the money always falls in there <laughs> so now i'm going to show you guys how to extend this out in case you want more than five items and then like i said later on in the future i'll do an add-on for it so you i already know how to do it i'll do an add-on so you can make it worth more than one so you can make it be make it worth five, each item is worth five each item is worth 10 so on and so forth if people have built my reward system version 2 i did make an add-on for that and that's all you have to do same exact thing there so if you already know how to do it then go right ahead but like i said in the future i'll put a little add-on so pretty much to extend this thing out what you're going to have to do is delete the mono stable circuit but oh yeah just to keep it in mind we're done everything's done so this is just in case you want to extend it so what you want to do is delete your mono stable circuit all the way back here at this backhand corner and literally all you're going to do is just bring it out more that's all you got to do so literally if you want to make more you just bring this out over here and then make your mono stable circuit like let's say over here with your uh sticky piston here block here repeater dust but just remember remember the uh dust can only go the length of 15 so see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 i'm gonna go to 16 and if i put a torch at this end as you can see it lights up all the dust except for the 16th one so just remember that so if you're going to make it longer count out 15 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 as you can see it would make it still without this repeater i'm just saying keep that in mind so then literally that's all you have to do just bring out your monostable circuit over here put a block down put a repeater here on two ticks delay put a block in front of it and then literally just do the same thing going back down to over here so remember each item is a piece of dust so repeater that'd be the sixth item repeater seventh item repeater eighth item repeater and then of course i would have to come out one more actually here for it to work right but i'm just showing you guys what to do and then all you have to do is literally redo this step right here it's the same thing over and over again so you just make the same uh contraption right here for each button but then another thing is remember each it only goes 15. so when you're doing your reset block for up here this is your reset block right here and you have your dust going remember it only goes 15 so let's say you have an item all the way over here so count it out 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 as you can see it will not reach here so to do to make it so it reaches each one all you have to do is in between where your items are just break a piece of dust and put a repeater there that will extend your current out thus making it so you can make as many items as you want just keep that in mind you can only extend it up to 15 dust so there you guys go that's how you extend it out and like i said i'll maybe do an add-on for it to make it uh more payment and whatnot so let's just go over a little bit more of this so if you throw an item in and we'll make our item right here the first item uh get a repeater <laughs> so we could buy our repeater oh yeah and i didn't show you okay there is our our payback item right there so if i decide to buy the repeater as you see the repeater will pop out but then look there's no item there because this piston will push the item out so you can't get your money back but then if we throw this in like that you know let's throw a few in there one let's throw a few in there two three four five so let's throw all five in let's wait for the light up there we go so now we have all our money in there and we decide we want our money back instead so we click this button these will all go away and then we'll get our five emeralds back so there you guys go that's how you build my reward system version 3.0 if you enjoyed this video please do the like and subscribe to stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys peace